the Manchester derby refers to football matches between Manchester City and Manchester United, first contested in 1881. City play at the City of Manchester Stadium and United at Old Trafford. History The first meeting between the two teams occurred on November 12, 1881, when West Gorton a Euro, who would later become Manchester City a Euro hosted Newton Heath a Euro, who would later become Manchester United. The game finished 3 Euro 0 in favour of Newton Heath and was described by the Ashton reporter as a pleasant game. At this time, the clubs were just two of many fledgling sides in the Manchester area, and the fixture had no special significance. Both clubs grew in stature as the 1880s progressed, leading to their first meeting of the 1890s being billed as a meeting of two local clubs, Ardwick just rising to the highest standard in the football world whilst Newton Heath are nearly in the front rank. The pair became the dominant teams in the Manchester area. The winner of the Manchester Cup was either Newton Heath or Ardwick every year between 1888 and 1893. Both teams joined the Football Alliance, a short-lived rival to the Football League. During this period both clubs made unsuccessful attempts to gain election to the league. Admission to the Football League finally came in 1892. Newton Heath joined the first division, and Ardwick the new second division. Equals early years equals, the first football league meeting between the teams came in the 1894 Euro 95 season, Newton Heath beating Manchester City 5 a Euro 2 at Hyde Road. The first meeting between the clubs to take place at the highest level of English football occurred in December 1906, a 3 a Euro 0 City win in a first division match for which the gate receipts exceeded a £1,000, a very large figure for the era. At this time City were suffering the after-effects of a financial scandal in which the club were found guilty of making off-balance cheat payments to players. As a result, 17 players were suspended and banned from ever representing the club again, including the core of the team which had won the 1904 FA Cup. When the suspensions ended in January 1907, four players joined United, where they helped United gain their first league title in 1908. In contrast to modern antipathy, the transfers were generally welcomed for helping a fellow Manchester club. The following season Turnbull became the first player to be sent off in a derby. Before the Second World War, many football supporters in Manchester watched City one week and United the next. After the war, a stronger rivalry developed and following both teams became uncommon. Equals floodlights equals, the first floodlit Manchester derby was played on February 26, 1889 at the Bellevue Athletic Ground. Wells electric lights were placed around the ground and a crowd of 10,000 watched Newton Heath defeat Ardwick 3 a Euro 2. The match was played in aid of the Hyde coal mine disaster. The first competitive floodlit derby was the Charity Shield match played in October 1956, as Manchester United were defending league champions and Manchester City were FA Cup holders. The game was a break with tradition as Charity Shield games were typically played at the home ground of the league champions, but as Old Trafford had yet to install lights, the game was played at Main Road. Equals the 1970s equals, Manchester derbies in the 1970s were frequently bad-tempered. In the December 1970 derby, a tackle by United's George Best broke the leg of City's Glyn Pardo. The severity of the injury almost resulted in the City defender losing his leg. The following season, an entertaining 3 Euro 3 draw saw Francis Lee accuse George Best of diving and emphasised the point to the referee by throwing himself theatrically to the floor. The first derby of the 1973 Euro 74 season saw Mike Doyle and Lou McCary each receive a red card in a tour contest which finished 0 a Euro 0 at Main Road. Both players refused to leave the pitch, leading the referee to take both teams back to the dressing room until the two players accepted their dismissals. The Dennis Law game, the return fixture came at Old Trafford on the penultimate day of the season with United trying to avoid relegation with a win although they were also relying on Norwich beating Birmingham that day for their result to matter. After 80 minutes, with no score, Francis Lee played the ball towards former United player Dennis Law who was standing with his back to goal. Law back yielded the ball past goalkeeper Alex Stepney into the net. Law was immediately substituted and never played league football again, announcing his retirement soon after. 
In the closing minutes of the match, United supporters invaded the pitch and forced an abandonment. However, the result stood, and other results meant that United would have still been relegated if the match had ended in a United win or a draw. United returned to the first division a year later. The rest of the decade brought generally good fortunes for the two sides, as City won the League Cup in 1976 and were league runners-up a year later, while United reached three FA Cup finals in four seasons, although they had only one win in the competition. Equals the 1980s equals, the 1980s began with a 2 a Euro 2 draw at Old Trafford between the two sides on September 27, 1980. It was the beginning of a relatively frustrating season in the league for United, who sacked manager Dave Sexton at the end of the campaign, while City dismissed manager Malcolm Allison soon afterwards and improved in the league under his successor John Bond, also reaching the FA Cup final. By 1982 a Euro 83, however, any suggestions that City were a better side than United were silenced as United finished third in the league and won the FA Cup, while City were relegated. The Old Trafford derby on October 23, 1982 ended in a 2 Euro 2 draw, but United won the return game at Main Road 2 Euro 1 on March 5, 1983. City regained their first division status for the 1985 Euro 86 season, and hosted United at Main Road on September 14, 1985. United won this game 3 Euro 0, to extend their winning start to the league season to eight games. They would go on to win all of their opening ten games and lead the first division table into the new year, but eventually finished fourth. Although City finished 15th in the league this season, they did come to Old Trafford on March 22, 1986 and hold the hosts to a 2 a Euro 2 draw, costing them two vital points as their title hopes continued to fade. 1986 a Euro 87 brought relegation for City while United finished 11th in a season which saw them replace Ron Atkinson with Alex Ferguson as manager on November 6, 1986. One of Atkinson's last games in charge of United was the visit to Main Road in the league on October 25, which ended in a 1-1 one Euro one draw. Alex Ferguson first faced City as United manager on January 10, 1987 in the third round of the FA Cup, which United won 1-0. One the league clash at Old Trafford came on March 7, 1987, which United won 2 a Euro 0 to continue their improvement in form under Ferguson and push City closer to eventual relegation. The 1980s ended on a high note for City as they won promotion back to the first division in 1989 and were paired with United for the derby match at Main Road on September 23, 1989, just weeks into the 1989 Euro 90 season. City defeated United 5 a Euro 1, but this would be their last win over United for 13 years. Equals the 1990s equals, goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel, who played for both United and City, can claim an unbeaten record in derby games a Euro United were unbeaten during his 10 matches keeping goal for them against City, while in his single season at Main Road, City beat United at home and picked up a point at Old Trafford. However, in the 1990s, United dominated the fixture, going unbeaten in derbies for the full decade. In 1990 a Euro 91, with both Manchester clubs competing in the top half of the table but not looking like real title contenders, the main road clash in October delivered a pulsating 3 a Euro 3 draw, but the return match at Old Trafford in early May saw United win 1 a Euro 0 and the only goal of the game came from 17-year-old winger Ryan Giggs scoring the first senior goal of what would prove to be an illustrious and uniquely successful career. The 1991 Euro 92 derbies were uneventful a Euro a goalless draw at Main Road in mid-November and a 1 a Euro 1 draw at Old Trafford in early April. United finished the season runners-up after leading the league for much of the season, finally buckling under fixture congestion and a shortage of goals in the second half of the campaign. The first Manchester derby following the creation of the Premier League for the 1992 Euro 93 season was a 2 Euro 1 win for United at Old Trafford on December 6, 1992. Making his United debut on that day was new signing Eric Cantona, who would go on to score eight goals in Manchester derbies over the next four seasons a Euro the first in the return match at Main Road that March which ended in a 1 Euro 1 draw. 
1993 a Euro 94 saw one of the finest Manchester derbies ever, when United overturned a 2 a Euro 0 deficit at Main Road to win 3 a Euro 2, with Eric Cantona scoring twice. Cantona scored a double on St George's Day as United won 2 a Euro 0 at Old Trafford. Cantona was on target again in the next Manchester derby in November 1994, though it was Andre Kankelskis who stole the show with a hat trick in a 5 a Euro 0 win. United won the return game 3 a Euro 0 at Main Road three months later. 1995 a Euro 96 was the last season of the millennium which brought a Manchester derby, as City were relegated at the end of the season. The first derby of the season came at Old Trafford in mid-October with a 1 a Euro 0 win for United in which Paul Scholes, still only 20, scored the only goal of the game and only a string of superb saves from United goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel prevented City from gaining a surprise win. The return game in early April saw United win 3 a Euro 2 at Main Road, with yet another goal from Cantona who had netted a highly controversial penalty after Rosler had put City 1 a Euro 0 FA Cup fifth round two months earlier, which United went on to win 2 a Euro 1. Equals the 2000s equals, three years later, in the first Old Trafford derby of the new millennium in April 2001, saw the culmination of a long-standing feud between Roy Keane and Alvin Haiyan Land, which Keane received a red card for making a knee-high tackle on Haiyan Land. The feud started in 1998, when United captain Keane suffered a cruciate ligament injury when Clean threw on goal, being chased down by Ha Yen Land. As Keane lay on the ground, Ha Yen Land accused him of feigning injury. The game ended in a 1 Euro 1 draw. United were already league champions and City's two drop points brought them closer to eventual relegation, which was confirmed in the penultimate game of the season. It was the first time in nine years that City had come away from Old Trafford unbeaten, and the first time in eight years that they had been unbeaten by United home or away in any competition. In his autobiography, published in 2002, Keane admitted that the challenge was a premeditated attempt to injure, an admission which resulted in a £150,000 fine and a five-match ban during the autumn of that year. On November 9, 2002, City managed by Kevin Keegan, won the last ever derby at Main Road 3 a Euro 1, with Sean Gota scoring his 100th and 101st goals for the club, and Nicholas Anelka scoring the other. This was City's first win over United since the 5 a Euro 1 victory in 1989, ending a 13-year barren run for the blue half of Manchester. City would later go on to draw at Old Trafford in the same season 1 a Euro 1, Sean Gota again scoring the goal. This was the first season since 1991 a Euro 92 that City had been unbeaten by United in either of their league meetings. Gota also had a second goal disallowed for handball, which would have handed City their first derby double over United since 1970 and their first win at Old Trafford since the Dennis Law game of 1974. City followed this up by winning the first ever derby match at their new stadium, the City of Manchester Stadium, for a Euro 1 with goals from Robbie Fowler, John Macken, Trevor Sinclair and Sean Wright Phillips. The 2007 Euro 08 derby games were both won by Manchester City, won a Euro 0 at the City of Manchester Stadium on August 19, 2007, and 2 a Euro 1 at Old Trafford on February 10, 2008. Darius Vassell and Benjani Mwawari scored for City in the 24th and 45th minutes respectively, and Michael Carrick scored a consolation goal for United in the 90th minute. It was the first time since April 1974 that City had beaten United in the league at Old Trafford and the first time they had won both league derby games since the 1969 Euro 70 season. United prevented City from winning a third consecutive derby match in the first derby of the 2008 Euro 09 season, Wayne Rooney scoring the game's only goal. Cristiano Ronaldo was sent off in the same game for a bizarre handball. Ronaldo and Carlos Tevez then scored in the return match at Old Trafford to give United a 2 a Euro 0 win. Equals 2010 onwards equals. The seasons following City's big money takeover, in 2008 a Euro 09, saw two well-contested semi-final fixtures between the clubs. 
controversy was generated prior to the start of the 2009 Euro 10 season, when City signed Carlos Tevez after his contract with United ended, and erected a billboard reading Welcome to Manchester at the top of Dean's Gate. The billboard provoked Alex Ferguson into claiming City were a small club with a small mentality, and subsequently called them noisy neighbours during the season. The 2009 Euro 10 season featured some tense matches, including two League Cup semi final legs. Alex Ferguson proclaimed the 2009 Euro 10 Manchester derby at Old Trafford as probably the best derby of all time. Manchester United won this game for a Euro 3 after Manchester City had equalised three times only for Michael Owen to score the winning goal after 95 minutes. The match was voted the greatest Premier League game at the Premier League 20 Seasons Awards in 2012. The sides were drawn against each other in the League Cup semi-finals, meaning a further two games. City won the first leg to a Euro 1 after overturning a 1 a Euro 0 deficit made by Ryan Giggs with goals from Carlos Tevez. United went to a Euro 0 up in the second leg via Paul Scholes and Michael Carrick before Tevez made it to a Euro 1, leveling the tie and setting the game up for extra time. However, Rooney scored a stoppage time header which won the tie for United and took them to their second consecutive League Cup final. On April 17, 2010, United beat City 1 a Euro 0 thanks to a 90th minute Skulls goal, but the victory was to little avail as it was not enough to help United chase Chelsea down to win the Premier League title, pipping United by a point. The 2010 a Euro 11 season featured three Manchester derbies, with one victory for United, one draw and one victory for City. The victory for United was at Old Trafford, where Wayne Rooney defined the game through a spectacular bicycle kick. This game gave United some space to overcome the rest of the season and get their 19th league title. City's win came in the FA Cup semi-final, knocking United out on the way to their ninth FA Cup final, and their first trophy since 1976. Consequently, the community shield that began the 2011 Euro 12 season was a Manchester derby, as United won the league the same day City won the FA Cup, May 14. United won the Community Shield 3 a Euro 2 at Wembley, coming from two goals behind to clinch the Shield in stoppage time. On October 23, 2011, Manchester City beat United 6 a Euro 1 at Old Trafford, giving the latter their first defeat of the season. Johnny Evans was sent off in the 47th minute after fouling Mario Balotelli, with a score at 1 a Euro 0 to City. United pulled a goal back at 3 a Euro 0 down before three goals for City sealed their victory. The 6 a Euro 1 score was the biggest defeat suffered by Manchester United against City at Old Trafford since the 5 a Euro 0 loss in 1955. It was also the first time since 1926 that City had scored 6 at Old Trafford, when the score that day also finished 6 a Euro 1. United and City met for the second time in the season in the third round of the FA Cup resulting in a 3 a Euro 2 win for United. The scoring opened in the 10th minute as Wayne Rooney headed neatly past stand-in keeper Costal Pantalamon, before Vincent Company received a red card in the 12th minute for a challenge on Nani. United went 3 a Euro 0 up by half-time, and successfully battled off a second-half comeback from City in which they scored twice. The game was notable for the re-emergence of Paul Scholes, who came out of retirement and replaced Nani in the 59th minute. City beat United 1 a Euro 0 at the City of Manchester Stadium on April 30, 2012 with Vincent Company scoring a header just before the half-time whistle. There was also a spat between City boss Roberto Mancini and Alex Ferguson after a challenge on Danny Welbeck by Nigel de Jong. Ferguson claimed that Mancini harangued the fourth official Mike Jones throughout the match while Mancini laughed off the incident, sarcastically claiming Ferguson never talks to, or harangues the referee a Euro an offence Ferguson has been found guilty of on numerous occasions, most recently in 2011 for which he received a five-match ban. Consequently, the win put City top of the league on goal difference after being eight points behind in the league in March. Only two wins against Newcastle United and Queen's Park Rangers were required for City to win the league which they subsequently achieved. 
City ultimately won the last six league matches to clinch the league title on goal difference a Euro the first time it was decided this way since 1989 and repeated the 1967 Euro 68 league season where Manchester City beat Manchester United to the title. The first Manchester derby of the 2012 Euro 13 season was won by Manchester United in the dying minutes of the game. United went ahead with two early goals from Wayne Rooney before City came back and leveled the match with goals from Yautura copyright and the equaliser from Pablo Zabalta in the 86th minute. Robin Van Persie scored from a free kick that took a deflection off of Samir Nasri in the 92nd minute, to seal the win and three points in the league. Manchester United's victory ended Manchester City's run of being unbeaten in 37 games. During the celebrations following the late winner by Robin Van Persie, Rio Ferdinand was hit by a coin thrown by a fan, causing Ferdinand to suffer an injury near his left eye. Another fan invaded the pitch and attempted to confront Ferdinand, only to be restrained by Joe Hart. City won the second derby of the season at Old Trafford, the first time they had won two away derbies in a row since the 1970s. The first Manchester derby of the 2013 a Euro 14 season was won by City for a Euro 1 at the City of Manchester Stadium on September 22, 2013. Sergio Aga one quarter Euro opened the scoring on the 16th minute followed by a goal from Yatura copyright just before half-time. In the second half, Aga one quarter Euro scored his second followed by a Samir Nasri goal three minutes later. Wayne Rooney scored a late free kick for United as a consolation goal. It was the first time in 26 years that the derby had been contested by two new managers, Manuel Pellegrini for Manchester City and David Moyes for Manchester United. Manchester City went on to do the double over United with a third consecutive win at Old Trafford on March 25, 2014, and won the Premier League for the second time in three seasons. During the 2014-15 season, City defeated United 1-0 at Etihad Stadium in November 2014, but United won their next encounter at Old Trafford in April 2015 with a final score of 4 a Euro 2, a game which City goalkeeper Joe Hart dubbed one of my worst days in a Man City shirt. The first derby of the 2015 a Euro 16 campaign, contested at Old Trafford, ended in a 0 a Euro 0 draw. This was the first time the derby had ended without any goals since 2010. Statistics As of April 12, 2015, there have been 169 competitive meetings between the teams. United have won 70 and City 49, the remaining 50 games finishing as draws. The biggest victories have been to City who have won 6 a Euro 1 on two occasions in the official league on 23 January 1926 and 23 October 2011. But on April 14, 1941 during a War League derby match at Main Road, United beat City 7 a Euro 1, which remains the biggest victory between the two sides overall, this result has been omitted as the official league was suspended but the derby still continued. Both teams have won 5 a Euro 0 once. The largest attendance for a Manchester derby was 78,000 on September 20, 1947, a time when both clubs were playing at Main Road as Old Trafford was being repaired following damage sustained in the Second World War. Top goal scorers, all statistics exclude the abandoned match from the 1960 Euro 61 season. Honours, City won their first honour in 1904 with victory in the FA Cup and United in 1908 with the Football League First Division title. There have been three occasions where City and United, finished champions and runners-up in the league the 1967 a Euro 68, 2011 a Euro 12, 2012 a Euro 13 seasons. On the first two occasions City picked United to the title in the last game of the season, with both teams going into their final games level on points. The latest occasion United finished 11 points clear to clinch their 20th title. Three semi-finals have been played between both clubs, but they have never met in the final of any senior competition. Table correct as of May 12, 2014, Charity Community Shields includes shared honours after a drawn match, as per competition regulations prior to 1993, Manchester United equals 16 outright, 4 shared. Non-competitive derbies, 
a large number of non-competitive Manchester derbies have taken place. The majority of these occurred during the Second World War, when a total of 44 matches were played between the teams. In recent years, non-competitive matches between the teams have generally been testimonials, such as those for Paul Lake and Dennis Irwin. In 1978, for Colin Bell's testimonial, players from City and United lined up side by side against a combined Liverpool and Everton team in a Manchester v Merseyside fixture. Matches between non-first team sides representing the Manchester clubs also have an element of rivalry, with occasions when the reserve teams meet sometimes referred to as mini derbies. This term is also used in reference to when supporters offshoot clubs meet. The two clubs have met twice, in the 2006 Euro 07 season, with FC United winning the inaugural match to a Euro 1 away at Bowerfold, Stalybridge, in front of 3,181 spectators. United also won the second game 3 a Euro 0 at Gig Lane, Bury in a game watched by 3,605. A friendly in 2009 saw Main Road win 2 a Euro 1. All time results. Equals League equals. Equals Cup equals. The first meeting between the sides in a national competition occurred in the first qualifying round of the 1891 a Euro 92 FA Cup. In their early years the Manchester clubs sometimes regarded the FA Cup as a low priority. In the previous season Newton Heath named a reserve team for their tie against Bootle, and Ardwick withdrew from their second round tie at Haleywell, opting to play a friendly against Higher Walton instead. This time both clubs treated the match as a senior fixture. Newton Heath won 5 a Euro 1 at North Road. The second FA Cup derby was a far more prestigious occasion a Euro a semi-final at Sheffield United's Bramall Lane in 1926. City won 3 a Euro 0, but were beaten in the final by Bolton Wanderers. Twenty-nine years later City overcame United 2 a Euro 0 in the fourth round, and again reached the final only to be runners-up. The first League Cup derby was in the 1969 a Euro 70 season. City won a two-legged semi-final for a Euro 3 on aggregate, and this win went on to win the competition. One month later the teams met once more, in the FA Cup fourth round. United avenged their earlier defeat with a 3 a Euro 0 win. The clubs met in the League Cup twice more in the 1970s, both in the fourth round. In 1974 a Euro 75 United won 1 a Euro 0 at Old Trafford. This match is the only competitive derby to have occurred while the clubs were in different divisions. Manchester United were in the second division, having been relegated the previous season. The following season the teams met in the competition again, with United a first division team once more. City won for a Euro 0 at Main Road, and went on to win the competition. However, the match also saw Colin Bell suffer a knee injury that eventually led to his retirement. In the 34 years following City's triumph in 1975, only three cup fixtures occurred perhaps symbolizing City's worst decline of their 130-year history. All three cup fixtures were in the FA Cup, all at Old Trafford and all won by United. The only cup derby of the 1980s was a 1 Euro 0 United win in the 1987 FA Cup third round. The next cup meeting was at Old Trafford in 1996 was decided by a hotly disputed penalty for United, described by the Independent as like prosecuting someone for littering during a riot. Eight years later the next cup meeting was at Old Trafford in the FA Cup with United emerging victorious in an eventful for a Euro 2 victory which saw Gary Neville sent off for head-butting Steve McManaman. Shared player history. Equals players who have played for both clubs equals. The first transfers of note between the clubs occurred in 1906. During the 1905 Euro 06 season City became embroiled in a financial scandal, which resulted in the suspension of 17 players, including most of the team that had won the 1904 FA Cup final. United signed four of these players, Billy Meredith, Sandy Turnbull, Herbert Burgess and Jimmy Bannister. All four were subsequently part of the team which won United's first major trophy, the 1908 League Championship. In recent years, direct transfers between the clubs have been rare. Carlos Tevez joined City in 2009 having spent the previous two seasons at United. 
City then produced billboard posters featuring Tevez and the slogan Welcome to Manchester. Equals played for one, managed the other equals. Matt Busby made more than 200 appearances for Manchester City in the 1920s and 1930s, winning an FA Cup medal in 1934. Immediately after the Second World War, Busby became Manchester United manager, completely transforming the club in a 24-year tenure. With United he won the European Cup, five league titles and two FA Cups, and rebuilt the team after eight players were killed in the Munich air disaster in 1958. Steve Koppel played over 300 games as a right winger for United, winning the FA Cup in 1977. He became city manager in 1996, but resigned after only 32 days, becoming the shortest serving manager in the club's history. Equals managed both clubs equals, Ernest Magnall is the only man to have managed both clubs. He oversaw United's first national trophy wins, gaining two league titles and one FA Cup. In September 1912, Magnall agreed to join City, but remained in charge of United for two more games. His final match in charge of United was a derby, which his new employer's City won one a Euro zero. He signed Billy Meredith for United from City in 1906, and did the same again in 1921, but in the opposite direction. Off the field, he played an important role in both United's move to Old Trafford in 1910 and City's move to Main Road in 1923. References Bibliography, Buckley, Andy. Burgess, Richard. Blue Moon Rising, The Fall and Rise of Manchester City. Berry, Milo. ISBN 0-9530847-4-4. Corley, Steve. James, Gary. The Pride of Manchester A Euro A History of the Manchester Derby Matches. Leicester, ACL Polar. ISBN 0-9514862-1-7. Hetley, Michael. Welch, Ian. The Great Derby matches a Euro Manchester United v Manchester City. Shepperton, Dial House. ISBN 0 7110 5 James, Gary. Mella, Keith. From Maine Men to Banana Citizens. Temple Press. James, Gary. Manchester City a Euro The Complete Record. Derby, Breeden. ISBN 1-85983-512-0. James, Gary. Manchester Euro of Football History. Halifax, James Ward. ISBN 978-0-9558127-0-5. Penny, Ian. The Main Road Encyclopedia. Edinburgh, Mainstream. ISBN 1-85158-710-1. Hittel, Ian. Manchester City Greats. Edinburgh, John Donald. ISBN 0-85976-352-8. Notes. External links, Manchester, a city united at fifa.com, Derby with more history than antipathy at independent.co.uk.